Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be flowing through a heart opening and twisty sequence. So a lot of back bends, a lot of twists. It's going to make you feel really good, hopefully. So if you're up for that, you can join me on your mat. We do not need any props for today, but as always, you can use them if you want. Blocks can always be a fantastic tool, so don't hesitate to use them. All right, we're going to get started in tabletop today. So planting hands underneath the shoulders, tucking the toes, and we'll just start very gently circling the weight over the hands and the knees. And just noticing how the weight shifts from fingers to palms, from hands to toes. If you have the toes tucked, maybe you can feel a slight stretch every time you move the body back. Let's switch directions of these little circles. I encourage you to keep the eyes closed as well so that you can really connect to the movement and how it feels in your body. Feel free to kind of switch it up, maybe move in figure eights, maybe shift back and forth, whatever comes to you naturally. And then let's slowly come back through center. We're going to start to lean forward slightly so the shoulders are past the wrists. And then from here, let's try to lift the heels of the hands and then lower. So bring all your weight in your thumbs and index. Lift and lower. You should immediately start to feel that in your forearms. This is great for building wrist strength, forearm strength. And let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Turn your fingers out to the sides, rock side to side a few times. And then let's turn the palms up, fingers point towards each other, and let's squeeze the hands into fists, so stretching the backs of the wrists. Open and squeeze. Open and squeeze. One more, open and squeeze. Let's come back to tabletop. Keeping the toes tucked, let's sit on the heels. Deep breath in, reach the arms above the head. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Inhale, reach the arms up. Right hand holds the left wrist. Let's side bend to the right. And then breathing in, come back through center. Side bend to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Let's lift the hips off the heels, so leading with your hips. And lower, keeping everything in one straight line. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lean back. And only go as far as you feel comfortable in your knees for three. Two. And one. Bring the hands down on the mat. Untuck the toes. Let's sit on the heels. Interlace your hands at your lower back. Inhale, open up the chest. And then slowly release. Let's come into high plank with the toes untucked. Lift the knees. And then let's lift the right leg and hold for three, two, and one, bring your right knee down, plant your left foot, inhale, left arm reaches up and over. And then let's circle both hands off the mat so that we come into gate pose. Tuck the right toes, walk your hands forward, forehead rests on the mat. And then breathing in, lift the chest, hands walk underneath the shoulders, right hand goes to the top of the mat again, left arm reaches over your left ear, come back to high plank. Let's bend the knees, pull the hips back, and then separate the knees once the hips go to your heels. Straighten the legs, and then pull the chin into the chest, around your spine, we're coming all the way into upward facing dog. 
Head is the last thing to lift. Exhale, chin into chest. Internally rotate the shoulders. Round, come through, down dog. Head comes neutral, and then let's bend the knees, hips to heels. Two more like that. Straighten the legs. Ripple your spine forward. Come all the way into up dog. Exhale all the way back through downward facing dog, and then bend the knees. One more time. Ripple forward. Upward facing dog. Exhale all the way back through downward facing dog, bend the knees, drop the knees down on the mat, and let's stand on the knees at the back of the mat, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Interlace all 10 fingers, press the palms of your hands away from you, reach the arms above the head, and then side bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, center. Release the hands, untuck the toes. High plank with the toes untucked. Lift your left leg. Hold for three. Think of lengthening. Squeeze your left thigh, two. And one, left knee grounds down. Plant your right heel, right arm reaches up and over. And then as you breathe out, both arms go out to the right gate pose. So the left hand is in one line with your left knee. Walk your hands forward, forehead comes down towards the floor. As you breathe in, lift the chest, hands walk underneath the shoulders, left hand comes to the top of the mat, right arm reaches up and over, exhale, right hand comes down, once again, high plank, pull the hips back, hips to heels, and let's do three more of those rolling dogs, so straightening the legs, rounding your spine, pulling the shoulders over the wrists, and then dropping the hips, pulling the chest open, exhale, reverse it. Two more like that in your own pace. If you want to modify it a little bit, feel free to do that. And most importantly, finding a way that feels intuitive, that feels good in your own body. And we meet at the back of the mat and legs are bent, gaze forward, right foot steps to the outside of the right hand. Drop the left knee, right arm reaches up, and then bend your left knee, right hand catches the top of the left foot. Squeeze the left glute, keep opening up the chest. And then slowly release your left foot. Let's frame the right foot with both hands. Half splits, but we're going to lift the left knee. So left knee hovers off the mat, right leg straightens, squeeze navel in. Really strong legs here. And then let's rise up into a double bent legged lunge, reach the arms above the head. Hands to the back of the head. Inhale, let's reach the hands back and away in space. And hold for three. And then breathing out, hands come to the heart space. Lean forward, bent leg, warrior three. Breathe in, breathe out, straighten the right leg. Inhale, pull left knee into the chest. Exhale, figure four, sink down. And now right hand can hold the outer blade of your left foot. Stand up tall, let's kick the left leg out. Left arm reaches behind you. Maybe challenge yourself by looking towards your left hand. Exhale, 
As you breathe in, unwind, keep your left leg in the air, reach the arms up. And then slowly step back, frame your right foot with both hands, step back, three-legged plank, right leg in the air, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged plank, knee to nose, three-legged plank, right knee, left elbow, and then wild thing, pivot open. And as you breathe out, bring the right hand down, high plank, one push up. And then drop your knees and elbows. Pull yourself forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. As you breathe out, let's bend the knees, gaze forward. And then with one movement, left foot steps to the outside of the left hand. Drop your right knee, bend the right knee more, left arm reaches back and catches the top of your right foot. And let's hold. As you breathe out, we're going to come into half splits, but remember, maybe the right knee hovers off the mat. You might want to step that right foot closer or just feel what feels comfortable here. Of course, the right knee can stay on the mat if this is not accessible. And really building some fire in that right thigh. One more breath. And then double bent legged lunge, reach the arms above the head, hands to the back of the head, and then squeeze the right glute as you reach back and away from you. And then as you breathe out, hands to the heart space, bent leg warrior three, inhale. Exhale, straighten left leg. Inhale, right knee into the chest. Exhale, figure four. And left hand will hold the outer blade of the right foot. Stand up tall, maybe kick your right leg out. Otherwise, you can just hold the right knee. And let's hold, maybe looking back towards your right hand. Think a lot about your standing leg. Two more breaths. Slowly unravel. Keep the right leg in the air. Reach the arms up. And then as you breathe out, frame your left foot, step back, three-legged plank, left leg in the air. Left knee, left elbow. Try to keep the shoulders completely immobile. Knee to nose. Left knee, right elbow. Swivel around, a wild thing. As you breathe out, left hand comes down, high plank, one push up. And then knees and elbows to the floor, pull through, upward facing dog, downward facing dog as you breathe out. Deep breath in, exhale, let it go. Come high on the toes, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump, active squat. Exhale, straighten the legs, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step or jump back. One push up, knees and elbows to the floor. Pull yourself forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe in. Breathe out. Three more, inhale, come high on the toes. Step or float, active squat. Hands to the heart space as you straighten the legs. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands. Your vinyasa. We meet in down dog, inhale. And exhale. Last two, inhale, come high on the toes. Bend the knees, step or jump. 
active squat. Exhale, straighten legs, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands. Your vinyasa. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one at your own pace. Let's go. Move with intention. We meet in downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And out. Right leg rises, inhale. Right knee to right elbow, exhale. Send it back. Knee to nose. Send it back. Right knee, left elbow. And let's open wild thing. So pivot onto the left foot. Come into wild thing. Maybe going a little bit deeper. Maybe you bend both legs. And let's hold here another five breaths. Exploring the shape a little bit more. Trying to point your left hip a little bit higher towards the ceiling. And then slowly come out. Let's pull the right knee in towards the right shoulder and step the right foot to the top of the mat. Revolved crescent lunge, so push off your left hand, lift the chest. We're twisted to the right, arms reach away from each other. Squeeze the inner thighs together. And then let's find a little bit of a back bend. Right fingertips to the back of the left leg. And as you breathe out, cartwheel the hands down, standing splits. And let's come high on the right toes and lower the right heel. For four, lift and lower. Three, two, one. Stay on the toes, Shiva squat for five, four, three, two, and one. Standing splits, you can drop your right heel, left foot steps beside the right, chair pose. Exhale, twist to the left. And now we're going to push into that right leg, keep the connection, let, uh, right elbow to left knee, and stand in a twist. Flex your left toes. Right hand holds the outer blade of the left foot. Left arm reaches back. Slowly unwind. Left leg stays in the air. Reach the arms up. And then let's come into airplane pose. Try to really engage your back body. Slowly step back. Airplane lunge. Reach the arms forward, and then exhale, let's cactus the arms for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, reach the arms forward, plant the hands, step back, high plank, your vinyasa. Deep breath in and out. Left leg rises, left knee, left elbow. Send it back, knee to nose. Send it back, left knee, right elbow. Pivot all the way around, wild thing. Maybe exploring a little bit of a deeper shape by bending both knees. 
Five deep breaths. Slowly, we step that left foot to the top of the mat. And then lift, revolved, crescent lunge. So the right arm is reaching forward, left arm is reaching back. Squeeze the under thighs together, let's hold. And then maybe a little back bend, left hand on the back of the right leg. As you breathe out, cartwheel the hands down. Standing splits. Come high on your left toes for five, four, three, two, one. Stay on the toes, Shiva squat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to standing splits. Drop your left heel, right foot steps beside the left, chair pose. Exhale, twisted chair to the right. Now pressing on that left leg, let's slowly stand up. Keep the left elbow connected to your right knee, twist. Flex the right toes, left hand holds the outer blade of the right foot. Looks a little wobbly there. And let's open up in our twist, kicking the right leg out in front of us. Ooh, thank God there's a bar. <laughs> Slowly unravel, reach the arms up. Airplane pose, let's try to really engage those back muscles, the right glute, squeeze the Arms nice and close together so that you feel the squeeze in the shoulder blades. And then step back, reach the arms forward. Exhale, cactus the arms for five, four, three, two, one. Plant the hand, step back, high plank. Your vinyasa. Back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out. Let's bring the knees down on the mat. Sit on the heels for a moment. Close your eyes. If you want to go into child's pose instead, you can. I'm just way too warm for that, to be honest. Let's take three breaths here. And then we're going to take either dolphin or forearm stand or headstand, whatever's in your practice. Dolphin is just a downward facing dog, but on your forearms, it's gonna be really, really good for building that shoulder and back strength. If you want to go into your forearm stand, if you're comfortable there, you can. Just know that you don't have to. The focus is finding stability, balance, or strength. All right, so getting ready. Forearm stand, hands can be flat or thumbs interlaced. A dolphin is what I'm in right now. If you want to go in your forearm stand, go ahead. We're staying here for 10. And then very slowly, we will meet again sitting on the heels. Just letting that sink in, maybe closing your eyes for a moment or keeping them softly open, looking straight ahead of you. And we're 
we're going to make our way back to downward facing dog. Hands come out in front of you, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Deep breath in and out. We're gonna go through our flow, we're just gonna add some stuff. So right leg rises, inhale. Notice if you feel any different after that inversion. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Send it back. Knee to nose. Send it back. Right knee, left elbow. Wild thing, open. Maybe coming into full wheel, if that's in your practice. We hold for five. And then we're gonna come back out, so make sure you flip that left hand so it's pointing at least to the left, so you can pivot on your shoulder without hurting yourself. Straighten the left leg so we're back in a wild thing. Right foot steps to the top of the mat. Revolved crescent lunge, take a deep breath in and out. Inhale for the back bend. Exhale, um, standing splits, but the hands don't touch the floor. See if you can reach them back and up. And then very slowly rise up. This time we're not coming through chair. Immediately left knee into the chest. Right hand holds the outer blade of the left foot. Open into your, your twist. Inhale, look forward, keep the left leg in the air. Dancer, bend the left knee. Left hand holds the inside of your left foot. And if you would like to try something different, you can pause. We're going to just relax here a little bit. Maybe hold the top of your foot from underneath for King Dancer. So you would have to flip the grip. So left elbow points up. You can maybe do it with one arm. Maybe the right hand holds your left forearm. This is obviously quite advanced. So don't feel like you need to go there. Just if you're comfy. And then make sure you come out really smoothly, really slowly. Let's pull that left knee into the chest. Exhale, figure four. And then we're going to twist left elbow to the left foot, if possible. Look to the right. Now both hands hold the left foot. And let's extend the left leg out, pistol squat. Now you have options. We're gonna meet an airplane pose. You can get there however you want, with or without the help of the hands. Ooh, wobbly on this right foot today. Step back, airplane lunge. Breathe in, reach the arms forward. And then exhale, half splits, airplane wings. This time the left knee touches the floor. Bring your left hand underneath your left shoulder, right arm reaches up. And then let's circle the right hand down. We're going to pivot into prasarita, facing the left side of the mat. So lift your left knee, pivot, both feet are parallel to each other. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. If headstand is in your practice, now is the time. Tripod, hands are in line with the elbows. And then we come down with control. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, skandasana to the left. Right hand will come behind the right leg. Wide-legged, wild thing. Stretching out that whole left side body. And then breathing out. Lower the hips, pivot into a lunge facing the back of the mat, so over your left leg. Step back, high plank. 
your vinyasa. We meet in downward facing dog, breathe in. And breathe out. All that on the left side. Let's see if I remember everything. <laughs> left leg rises, inhale. Left knee, left elbow. Send it back. Knee to nose. Send it back. Left knee, right elbow. Pivot into wild thing. Maybe exploring full wheel. And then to come out, make sure you point your right fingers away from the center of the mat. And then you can safely come out. Left foot steps to the top of the mat. Revolved crescent lunge, pushing off your right fingers. Take one breath. Maybe the back bend. And then standing splits. But let's see if we can reach the arms back and up, airplane wings. Bend your left knee a little bit, pull the right knee into the chest as you stand up, and then left hand holds the outer blade of the right foot, twist to the right. Look back through center, release the right leg, dancer's pose. Right hand holds the inside of the right foot, First coming into our normal variation. Kicking into your right hand. And then if you want to go deeper, you can slowly release. Right hand holds the top of the left foot or any other variation that you want. Flipping the grip Ooh. into King Dancer. And coming out nice and safely. <laughs> Definitely was not easier on this side. Let's bring the right knee into the chest. Right ankle crosses over your left. Deep breath in, and then exhale, twist to the left. Just making sure with back bends that you're never forcing anything. You're always around 70% of your max, and we're not elastic bands, so <laughs> moving really mindfully in and out of these deep shapes. And both hands hold the right foot, pistol squat. And then we're gonna make our way into airplane pose. However you want to get there, hands can help. And let's step the right foot back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, half splits, airplane wings. And bring your right hand underneath the right shoulder, left arm reaches up, twist. And then let's circle the left hand down. We're coming into Prasarita, so bend your left knee, lift the right knee, and then pivot to the right. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Again, optional tripod. Maybe trying a different variation with the hands, maybe basket hands around the back of your head, whatever you want to do. And then slowly coming down with control. Halfway lift, breathing in. Now Skandasana to the right. And then we're gonna take a wide-legged wild thing. Left hand goes behind the left leg. Right arm reaches over the right ear. As you breathe out, come back through Skandasana into a lunge, top of the mat. Step back, high plank. 
your vinyasa. And we meet in downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. And bring both knees down, child's pose. And taking a few breaths here, breathing, expanding the back body. And then slowly, let's make our way into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, come high on the toes. Bend the knee, step or float in Malasana. Hands to the heart space. And just maybe wiggling the hip side to side, shifting the weight from one foot to the other. And then let's take a few circle wheels. Right hand goes behind you. Fingers, try to point them towards the middle of the mat. It'll make it easier if you ever want to go into a full circle. And then exhale, come back. Push off the right hand. Left hand comes behind you. Inhale, left. Exhale. Come back through center. Plant the hand, step or jump back. You are vinyasa. And deep breath in, come high on the toes. Bend the knees, look forward, step or jump, malasana. This time left hand starts, circle wheel, inhale. Exhale, come back through malasana. And then right hand behind you. Exhale, back through Malasana. Breathe in. Plant the hand, step or jump back. Your Vinyasa. We meet in downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And out. Let's take little tiny steps all the way up to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. And bend the knees, roll up high mountain. Come high on the toes. And then lower hips to heels. And we land here. We're going to lean back, knees tap the floor. And then lift the knees, heels tap the floor. And then knees and heels. For three. Hands can always assist. Just go as deep as you can. If the heels don't touch the floor completely, that's okay. Builds over time. And one. We meet with the knees on the floor. Now there's the option of going into wheel pose from here. So if you are on board for that, I'm going to demonstrate. If not, just make your way onto your back constructive rest and then go into your wheel pose as you normally would if you want to come from here you can start to lift the hips off the heels lean back try to lift the knees hands plant behind you wherever you are we meet in wheel maybe staying on the toes And then let's plant the left foot, bring the right knee through center, and just squeeze the right knee in for three, two, one, release. Bring your left knee up for three, two, one, release, hold. And then very slowly come down. Tucking the chin into the chest, coming all the way down to the mat. Whew. Back bends really have a way of 
taking all your energy sometimes and then miraculously you'll feel super energized afterwards. So let's knock the knees side to side a few times, just getting rid of any tension in the lower back or around the hips. And then next time both knees fall to the right, stay there. Maybe lift that right foot and put your right heel over your left knee. What I like to do here is I really push down with my right foot and I almost try to push my left hip up just to get that stretch a little bit deeper. If this doesn't feel good, of course, you do not have to be here right now. And then come back through center. Both knees go to the left. Maybe the left foot lifts and comes on the right knee. And let's hold. Come back through center. Bring the knees into the chest. We're gonna flatten that back to counter all those back bends we did. So let's come into happy baby. One of my favorite poses. Try to focus on pulling the tailbone down and the shoulder blades down. You can rock side to side a few times, but you can also just stay still and focus on widening and flattening the back. Bring the knees back together, plow pose, feet go behind the head. Again, moving mindfully, moving slowly. And then slowly come back to the mat. Keep the legs in the air. Let's bring the arms in the air as well. Tree hugging pose or dead bug, whatever visualization you prefer. And you can just stay here trying to keep your limbs nice and relaxed, as relaxed as possible while still staying in the air. Hands are fully soft, feet as well. And if it gets really uncomfortable, you can very gently circle your ankles and wrists. Slowly bring the knees back together. Give yourself a big hug. Forehead lifts to the knees. And come into your Shavasana, letting everything go. One last deep breath in. And exhale to release. Stay here for as long as you can, as long as you have the time for. Thank 
you so much for practicing with me once again. Or if you're new here, then welcome. I hope you stick around. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, let me know, and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next class. Have a good one.